Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, my name is Jess. I am an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader, and today we are here for the June 2022 predictions. Uh, this is for sun, moon, or rising. Take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. I've got quite a few cards here today, so sit back, relax, and enjoy what must just come through today. Um, I do suggest that you come back in the middle of the month and at the end of the month, watch this video again, see what um, has come true, what resonates, what information you can get, because it can be really helpful. Okay, let's just dive into it here. Let's start with the tarot cards, uh, because we had a few pop out. I did not ask any sort of specific question, um, just the collective for the sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, Sagittarius, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some new things coming your way here. You've got the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I don't know if this is like a new financial beginning or opportunities coming your way, manifesting. Um, but there's something about bringing more stability and security into your life. You should be feeling very optimistic, which you are here. Um, you are ready to just dive into these projects, new ideas. Uh, new opportunities, whatever, and you're just um, oozing out exciting energy, um, or there's new exciting energy around you. Uh, so there's a lot of abundance in all areas of your life, is what I'm seeing, and I feel like I feel like maybe there's someone who could provide you with a sense of security. Um, maybe someone's coming to you with, I don't know if it's like a raise or a new job or just something that can give you more stability and more positive grounding or influence in your life, which is super important because, um, you know, <laughs> who doesn't want security? I just feel as if there's a lot of independence that can flourish uh, from this new energy coming into your life. Um, I do feel that career job wise maybe uh, again good news coming in um now is a really great time to do some sort of um investment opportunity maybe for some of you um you may also receive some sort of uh unexpected money or a return on something i feel like i don't know what i feel like there's some sort of uh, abundance coming in there but it's just a really great time to try something new um don't be afraid to experiment so really good energy there especially with the knight of cups or sorry knight of uh pentacles coming through this is somebody who is a hard worker someone who really finishes what they start so you are looking forward to achieving your wishes your dreams um this is yeah this is definitely someone who is protective of what they want. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So maybe this is somebody who is offering you something that mean that, that means a lot to them or you are um, embodying Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn uh, sort of placements in your life. So you're, you're really getting back to um, almost like basics, kind of like nature. You may be a little bit stubborn on some things, but uh, you are loyal, you're faithful. People are going to be giving you the same sort of security, that uh, loyalness, I think that you've been kind of uh, striving for. Um, I do see long-term ambitions uh, in terms of career. Um, very driven. I don't know if this has to do with like, a more job connected to like farming or landscaping but uh if you're looking for that kind of work I, th I feel like you'll find more success in that i don't know there's just, there's just something about long-term financial security or just good ambition in that sort of field uh it could also just mean that maybe you are building your financial security a little bit more um a little bit more frugal but appreciate luxury type of thing so yeah that's what i'm seeing for you which is a great start because if you've been going through some sort of great upheaval um it's just telling you like take that one step at a time because you're overcoming every obstacle that comes your way and that's that's awesome that's what more could you ask for right <laughs> great first couple cards to get um however i feel like 
whatever is coming to you, these new beginnings, it's going to be difficult for you to make a decision. It's going to be difficult for you to be, um, be truthful to yourself or to other people. Um, maybe you're getting a lot of information all at once, or you're holding on to a lot of anxiety with these new um, opportunities coming up. I also feel like maybe a little bit emotionally guarded, which can kind of come across as cold at times. Um, overwhelming just feels like a kind of a big, a big thing for June for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so um, it can it can signify someone who's just really overly cautious when making this decision. Like, is it really too good to be true? Uh, type of thing, but. Um, maybe you're just finally able to see the truth after a really long mental fog or just, you know, finally being able to make the right decision after a long mental fog. Um, I feel like there's people who have maybe given you some sort of emotional turmoil, which has left you really indecisive. Like, I don't know where this overwhelming anxiety comes from or just feeling overwhelmed all of the time. Whether you feel this now or later in June, I just feel like you need to start, um, like stop papering over the cracks in relationships, whether it's friends, family, coworkers, and start dealing with things and drawing lines under them. Because if you don't, it can lead to resentment. If you're just constantly putting over a band-aid, if you're just putting like a band-aid over like a broken bone, like that's not gonna do shit. So um, if there's some unfinished business here that uh, is making you have a difficult time making a decision, now is your time to address it. Uh, I definitely think it's important for you to go out and meet people this month because uh, you're putting too much pressure on yourself. And don't put too much pressure on yourself to go out and have a good time. Be patient. Ease yourself into things. And um, I don't know. If you feel like meeting somebody, go slow. Do things at a comfortable rate for you. Um, maybe you're, I feel like maybe some of you are uncomfortable in like one-on-one -on -one situations. And maybe that's why it's such a hard thing for you to do to make this decision because it's going to have you a little bit more independent and you're trying to to make the right decision but like avoiding the situation i don't know we'll see how that pans out for you this month okay um but you know overall just overwhelming sort of energy and um you you just have so much wisdom inside yourself familiarize yourself with what you already know because it can help you make the right decision okay i do feel like somebody's jealous i don't know why i feel like making this decision has to be or it has to be about the person or the people in your life or or what but i just feel as if like somebody is jealous or overly critical i don't know if you are being overly critical of yourself unforgiving of yourself um kind of going through this mental fog and finally realizing like you have some sort of repressed trauma uh i feel more envy than anything <laughs> uh because when the queen of swords in reverse comes up this is air sign energy this is somebody who um who's aquarius gemini or libra energy who hmm just likes to spread gossip, just wants to try and drag you down by spreading um, malicious gossip, like I said, um, overly critical of you, like I had mentioned, and maybe overly dependent. It's like, I feel like overly dependent is a good one. It's like, this person kind of depends on me for a lot and is kind of dysfunctional at times. <laughs> um, and they can be possessive and controlling about the things that they have to offer. So like when something, new comes my way i don't know how to properly make the decision because of this person here um which is kind of causing a lot of oops sorry yeah it's it's causing a lot of nasty vindictive vengeful uh actions poor communication uh, starts to set in we start to like doing little white lies i don't know how this resonates with you so far Sagittarius but I definitely feel as if that you are you are um 
yeah, maybe, maybe it feels like whatever it is that you're going through, I feel like maybe you fear that your freedom is going to be restricted. If that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, there's somebody here that doesn't want you to do something that's going to put you in a position of power. Maybe you, if you are self-sabotaging, self wow, self-sabotaging yourself, be careful. Don't take sorrow and let it overwhelm you in the moment. Don't take anxiety and let it overwhelm you in the moment because you have the choice to deal with what, with what you've been through and what you're going to be going through and you can change what's happened. Um, you, I feel like communication is so tough right now. I'm trying to uh, break down what I'm feeling, but I feel like somebody is restricting my vocal cords. It's like they don't want you to communicate how you truly feel um, so that you kind of miss out on opportunities that are going to give you what you want. Like you can have your cake and eat it too. You have the house, the car, the, the money coming in and people are so envious of these op opportunities coming to you. And I feel like they affect you in some sort of way. Like, why is it that your self-improvement should be okay with other people? And why are these people not supportive of, of you? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. At all, at all, at all. Um, this is uh, Pentacles is Earth sign energy. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be dealing with someone who's going to, um, you know, be a little bit more of a businessman who can show you how to better yourself, who wants to see things through in the end. But this is also... Um, it can signify you, Sagittarius, of reaching your goals and being uh, dependable and knowing that your hard work is going to pay off. Doesn't matter how this sits in your life. Um, I do see you being this person of, of power, empire, high status, okay? Hopefully that resonates with you. Okay, just to validate, <laughs> this is the first card, uh, uh, just to validate that um, you've got some opportunities coming in here, you got the woman holding a coin. So whether this is a, a female energy offering you something that looks really good and it's at the cost of other people or the cost of yourself, um, and envy, there's that envy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so somebody's super, super bitter that you are doing so well. Somebody is so bitter. They're like, well, maybe if I try to offer, you know, this, I can, you know, sway them a little bit. But you're, you're stuck. You're stuck where you are. You, you notice the envy. You notice the people trying to bring you down. And you're not, you're not going to fall for it. You're not falling for it. Not one bit. Let's see what these cards say. Deception and envy right there again. So people are not being completely honest with you, but be honest with yourself. Like don't let this sort of energy manipulate you into making the decision that is ultimately the best one for you. Like I just feel people are like left behind or uh, it's yeah. Somebody's going to be offering you something that you that makes you think, oh yeah, it's gonna be like this, like it's gonna be a good job or a good friendship or good money or whatever. And it turns out to be something completely different. Um, but inside of you, you you have this feeling that you've been, you, you know what's coming, you see this coming. You're like, yeah, no, I see this coming. I see what kind of uh, dodgy deals are going on here and you don't need to worry about this um, at all. I don't think you need to worry about the people that are trying to bring you down. I think you're going to get some sort of justice, reward, or clarity for yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Like, I know you may think that you have to do things a certain way, but... Uh, 
Oh, there's my cat. I don't know. I just feel like somebody's trying really hard to keep you down. They don't want to see you become this uh, king or queen that you are. And you're more powerful than you let yourself to be. Um, I do see you moving. Like I see journey for you. I see either new jobs or um, <laughs> I see a lot of pentacles. So like new money, there's definitely change coming in that's gonna create conflict with the people in your life, I think, like I had mentioned. Um, but this is bringing balance to yourself. You're really listening to what your soul needs. And sure, it's gonna create a lot of anxiety and it may come in a little bit slower, but have patience, man, have patience. This is this is all good. You, you're gonna be gaining a lot of clarity here and a lot of abundance coming in here for you. So I know it was kind of all over the place here, but I just feel as if your energy has been uh, tampered with. Uh, you're trying to be manipulated. People are very envious and uh, trying to get the better of you. That is why you got the connect with crystals cards coming up. I feel like if you are spiritual, you should connect with crystals. Uh, they do serve really great uh, purposes for energy healing, clearing, um, all of that good stuff. But I also see some of you like going to the mountains for some sort of clarity. So I don't know if you've got a place that you can go hiking or you travel to for um, like a vacation, but uh, yeah, Sagittarius, people are jealous of the good things that are coming to you and continue the hard work because whether it's a new job, house, car, whatever it is, um, see things through to the end and whatever decision that you need to make for yourself, make the right one because uh, you're going to be doing some great things. All right. Um, love and light to you. You're going to be building some really great partnerships, uh, great people that can help you. If you want a more in-depth reading, all you have to do is send me a private message. You can find all of that information in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.